Bro, my freaking friend is like eating my butthole, bro. That's pretty hot. I don't want him to. He's trying to FaceTime me. <laughs> bro, I'm like... <laughs> Answer with the camera pointed towards your ass, dude. <laughs> no, from the <laughs> angle right now, it looks so low on me. All you can see is my eyebrows. And my butthole. <laughs> Eyebrow bubble. Speed. Camera's rolling. In five, four, three, two. Time to begin. Hi, I'm Mark Wicklock. Welcome back to the link. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Hi, welcome to the podcast that we haven't done in a decade. I'm your host, Big Peen. Your other host is... Wait, I'm a host? Yes. Oh, I have forgotten. We are here with Big Peen 2. <laughs> and... The duo. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Enough horsing around. Easy <laughs> now. I got something to tell you. Yeah, so... Uh... Yeah, that guy that... This is what I meant by Jeopardy earlier. Yeah. There's two guys, Chief. That dude. Okay, so you know that guy that, like, you know that guy that has, like, the winning streak? Yeah. So, I guess he, uh, I guess, like, a leaked video came out of him on Jeopardy, and he lost. So his streak is over now. Damn, that's tough. My mom has been obsessing over him. Watching Jeopardy every night, sipping her wine. <laughs> yeah, I guess this woman with like the short hair. Oh, <laughs> that one with the short hair won. <laughs> that was Oof! Dang, he, that is not epic. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty unepic. I mean, he was going for the for the world re record. He was close. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he got pretty close. Mm-hmm. This is definitely unfortunate. It's <laughs> just like all of Twitter being like, look at all these memes. All of his hard work down the drain. Now he gets only $2,000 and a sponsorship from the leave. <laughs> it's just like, I guess at one point that <laughs> I saw this meme. Uh, it says, uh, James, I got all my knowledge from nonfiction children's books of the library. And then it's just like, Emma. And it's like her with like a Bane mask on. You merely pursued the library. I run it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty epic any thoughts any comments uh, that's been the podcast uh, <laughs> 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 no it, it just seems kind of tough you know it is tough he's like a genuine guy pretty smart fella <laughs> we got absolutely eight eight now <laughs> Yeah. She's really not epic. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, could you imagine? That's like when you're in like a spelling bee, and like you accidentally say the wrong letter, but you didn't mean to say that. You meant to say like the actual right letter. So then you're like, oh no, I mean this. And then the teacher's like, fuck you. That's your answer. Have you ever had that happen to you? I. What's a spelling bee? <laughs> 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 We would no, go. um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like when you're, um, when you're at a spelling bee, but you, you say a letter that you didn't mean to say. <laughs> yeah, when you're at a spelling bee. <laughs> so. No, it's like when you're at a spelling bee, but like the person right before you got the word cat and then you get LaForsha and you're like, bitch, how do I spell this? LaForsha. <laughs> So, uh, like, we would do these spelling bees, and we would, like, go around the room. And I'm, I'm pretty good at spelling words, just because I, I actually use the internet at the time. So you have to kind of learn how to read if you want to go on the I internet. I own a dictionary. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I actually used a computer. So, like, I had to kind of learn how to read to use the computer. And yeah. so, like, I was doing pretty well on that spelling bee. And then, like, I was spelling out a word and I accidentally said the wrong letter. And it was like some super easy word. It was like participation or something like that. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. 
I mean, it was like participation. Sure, uh huh, uh huh. And sure, I, you misspelled it on purpose or on no, accident. I did. I I said like the wrong letter, and then I immediately went back and was like, oh, no, no, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say this letter. So I said that letter, and then I kept going. And the teacher was like, "You got it wrong." I know that this teacher was kind of like a shitty teacher. She was kind of an asshole, and uh, she actually ended up leaving the school like the year after that. But so she was like. No, that's your answer. And she was like, you're disqualified. Or not disqualified, but like, you're out. And so I couldn't answer for like the rest of the thing. That's basically the same thing as disqualified. I, I guess. I mean, that's... <laughs> that was just like... That well, just how like many people were in the spelling bee? Too? The whole class. There was one person in the spelling bee. And I, I, was in like, I was in like the last three. And then she kicked me out. Like the, the other two people couldn't spell it at all. And so she just, like, let them move on. And I'm like, wait, then why can't I move on? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That didn't make any sense to me. Well, how old were you? Fourth grade. Damn. Really be tough. We really be out here trying to spell participation. <laughs> like, really not that complicated of a word to spell, but, like, 80, I don't know how to spell it. 90, like 85% of the class was like, What? What's that word even mean? They were like, Define the word. And the teacher was like, Are you kidding me? You are doing it right now. Hmm? <laughs> you are participating at this moment. What you are doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, so, uh, our next topic is iTunes. And how it's dead. Our tunes fucking suck. <laughs> so after 18 <laughs> years, so it's an adult, right? It turned 18 this year. Like Bro, you. It's like me. And like you, it's going to die. This year. <laughs> so <laughs> Thanks for the threat. I really like it. <laughs> I appreciate it. So it turns out they're going to kill it. I don't understand the point of that. Like, well, you, well, well, cause, like when you think about it, the... I'm gonna get really into this because right. I am a personal. I'm the is executive for Spotify, so I'm gonna get really. <laughs> this. All right. Listen, Spotify just has you know, it's just more accessible. It's more easy. It's easier to use, and I mean iTunes is great. It looks good, but that's all it's got for it. It looks good. Would you rather have a girl that looks good or easy to use? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I didn't mean that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, you Never weirdo. Never mind. <laughs> so they're not... They're just phasing it out and replacing it with something. I think it's just like a thing for like Apple Music. Oh. I think it's just like... It's either for Apple Music or it's like they're just fusing it with like the App Store or something. But like I've also heard that they're getting rid of the App Store. Why? I don't know, like, they're going to replace all those apps with, like, one big store. And I'm like, what is it going to be called? The Apple Store. I'm just going to put a the in front of it. I mean, yeah. And then you're just like, wow. Cool. You're going to rename it all to Spotify. <laughs> all right, let's get all... Okay, now all the boring... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just going to gonna buy Spotify and make that their official thing. Honestly, bet. It would be in their best interest. Honestly. Just buy, um title by the word title now do you remember that like streaming service that like jay-z i think made it's called I like not. title and it's supposed to like rival I'm spotify not that old it was supposed to ro like rival spotify and nobody wanted to use it and then kanye west is like i'm gonna put my whole life of pablo album on it and that's the only place where it's gonna be listenable and everybody was like <laughs> well shit so they one guy got title and then released the entire album like three months early on the internet <laughs> Oh. And that's how I listened to the entire Life of Pablo album early. Really? You pirated it? No, wow. it was just on YouTube. Good good influence. You pirated it. I didn't pirate it. it. It was just on YouTube. You downloaded it, it off of YouTube? Yet. What? Is that what I'm hearing? Dude. You you pirated it. Anyway, now that we got all the boring Chris stuff out of the way. we got all the boring stuff out of the way. Let's talk about E3, dude. What's <laughs> up? We should make a episode for... Uh, what is it for next week and talk about E3 I, 
Yeah. Wait, he threw like about Fortnite or something? <laughs> it's like, stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go, that's a good one. Um, Alright, so, <laughs> E3, uh, I guess like EA is on Saturday, Xbox is on Sunday, Bethesda is on Sunday. PC Gaming, Ubisoft, and Square Enix, and Developer Digital all on Monday. Mm-hmm. And Square Enix is at 2 a.m., dude. Good luck. Nobody's ever going to watch that. 2, 2 a.m. Uh, BST. That? What's BST? British Standard Time, I think. Bitch Standard Butthole Time. Standard Time. <laughs> Bitch ass Standard Time. Uh, <laughs> that is definitely what it is. Yeah. If it's British, it's definitely bitch ass. It is British. British summertime. That's dumb. <laughs> it's not even summer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What if it's winter? It's, it's, it's winter in British Britain right now. I guess so. No, but it's spring right now. I mean, it's not like they can tell what <laughs> what season it is. It's always raining. Yeah. These dumb idiot British people. God, stupid moron. Biscuit eating. <laughs> colonizing. Wait, no, I was gonna say frog looking ass, but those are the French. Jacked up teeth. Okay. Uh, Bro, the one that I'm excited just... for is Nintendo on Tuesday because they got Animal Crossing. Mm, I never really got into Animal Crossing. That's because you're gay and you should. Uh, well, I'm not eat into my animals, sock. okay? I'm not into <laughs> animals like you are. Listen, dude, you didn't have to throw that one out. <laughs> so, that was a low blow. I don't know. Since we don't really know anything about E3 this year, like, did you watch E3 last year? I did not. <laughs> Do you know anything about E3 last year? Nope. <laughs> Dog, you didn't see, like... I haven't seen a single E3, Chief. <laughs> I want to specifically talk about, like, Bethesda's last year, because Bethesda was, like... Oh, didn't they do, like, Dota, like, trading cards? Dota. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's Valve. Isn't that what they did? That's Artifact. Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah, that was, yeah, that was Artifact. That's Artifact. <laughs> The new Half-Life game from Valve, Artifact. Uh, what the fuck? I can buy Animal Crossing 2019. It's not even out. Uh, so, like Bethesda was like, "Here's a new Skyrim game." And oh it's like, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, El- yeah, yeah, Elder Scrolls yeah, yeah. Six, and they were also like, "Here's a Elder Scrolls game on the phone," and then they were like, "Here's a card game." <laughs> And then uh, Tom Howard was like, we got Fallout 76, so they announced all that crap. And, you know, we were hyped. Uh, Fallout 76 came out on November 14th, which is my ex-girlfriend's birthday. So uh, that's perfect. So then we have an excuse not to celebrate it. Um, so I had friends get it because they pre-ordered it. And, uh, like, have you seen all the controversy on Fallout 76? Brother? I have not, bro. They're in, like, a lawsuit right now. For what? Because, like, the game was so bad that people wanted to refund it. And, like, when everybody was mass refunding it, they, like, changed their policy or something, like, halfway through that. So, like, they just started, like, denying people, but, like, accepting other people that were, like, way out of the parameters for it. And, uh, like, (laughs) when... When they did that, like, a bunch of people started getting pissed and started, like, contacting support. And, like, uh, like they were selling merch. And, like, one of the items that came with the pre-order was a canvas bag made out of canvas material. Duh. People got it, and it was just, like, a plastic bag. Like, it was, like, one of those cheap, like, drawstring bag material type bags. Yeah. And a lot of people were getting, like, pissed because it, it said canvas bag. And they were like, sorry, we ran out of canvas material or whatever. And so, uh, apparently, they made a bunch of canvas bags for creators, or influencers, like, internet people. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of people were getting pissed, because we're like, okay, so you had canvas for them, but not us. And so, like, all that just, and then there was, like, a bottle of, like, uh, I don't know, like, liquor or something like that, and it was, like, like a Nuka-Cola bottle. And it was supposed to be, like, glass, and a bunch of people got it, and it was just, like, plastic or something. I don't know. Dumb, stupid plastic. And so they started getting, like, mad, and so, like, somebody, like, filed, like, a lawsuit or something. 
And it's still going, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really, like, done any updates. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I, like, looked it up a couple weeks ago. But, yeah, they're being sued, dog. That's kind of tough. It is tough. Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't know. I've, I've never played any of the Fallout games. I was going to get Fallout 4, but... I was going to get Fallout 36 to play with my friends, but... Oh, it ain't worth the $60. Hmm. I just want to see Animal know? Crossing. What? Did you hear about that there's comp- controversy about the um the new trailer for Call of Duty? What's the controversy? Well, a lot of influencers or YouTubers and Twitch streamers, whatever, were flown out by Activision to go see like before the game, like preview type stuff. Mm-hmm. And when they flew out there there was this one journalist Named Dean something. Hold on. I'll actually get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Dean. On. Got the, you know it's serious Dean when the guy dude. named Dean shows up. Hold on. <laughs> you could probably like talk about something else while I'm trying to find this. So I was watching this amazing porno the other day. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, was that it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I can't go into any details because, you know. It's a kid's show. Yeah, this is a PG. It's a fucking PG program, okay? I'm just looking at Animal Crossing articles, dog. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Okay, I found it. Yeah? So the new Call of Duty game came out, or was, like, not released. It was the trailer for it. And it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's the newer one made by Infinity Ward. It's going to be a modern military type thing. <laughs> oh, shut up, you clown. Just tell them, tell them what the I'm controversy is. I'm just explaining is. it. They know what Call For of Duty is. I haven't seen it. Okay. Haven't seen the trailer. Right. Well, since this Call of Duty is very Modern Warfare based, it's going to be a real life event. Like real-life terrorism, real-life, you know, bombings and stuff like that. And there was this one journalist that was flown out there that said that they'd been a Call of Duty fan from the first game in 2003, but is frightened by the ta- taking war in a frightening direction. Here's, here's, what, here's what this dude has to say. Where is it? Dean Taka- Takahashi. Dean. Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a Call of Duty fan from the first game in 2003, but I've never wondered about this question before until now. Did this particular game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, be made? The small glimpse I have seen so far tells me no. Um. So this dude definitely does not want... Th- what the f- Is, Is that, that him? him? I don't know. <laughs> I looked him up. Is that the dude? Is that Dean? <laughs> I think it is. The man himself, Dean. He wrote a book. <laughs> Opening the Xbox. <laughs> 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 Written in 2002, 2006, the Xbox 360 uncloaked. 2010, that- hot jobs in video games. <laughs> He says that it was that he was quite uncomfortable when watching the gameplay demo of the new game. Because it's war. Um, Did he say specifically why? Uh, I'm trying to find it. Hold on. In the demo, which he which will be shown at E3, um, has two parts. In both cases, the safety of civilians come into question. Oh. It's made by Infinity War. Their whole point for making it so realistic and, like, all this stuff is to show how shitty war is. Yeah, I mean, that was the and so, point of the original. Yeah. And Infinity War, which is a studio in Southern uh, California, is making this, and it's, you know, a mature game. Yeah. And they, <clears throat> and they <laughs> said no longer would be... Uh, would we be jumping light about like superheroes? Okay, so it's grounded in realistic modern combat. So, 
I found his tweet when he tweeted out the article on Vice.com. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and all the responses are just like, it's like the fish drinking the drink on the April Fool's episode of Spongebob. And it just says you <laughs> and then retard see. juice. <laughs> retard spotted. <laughs> All these people are just like, dude, you're retarded. <laughs> There's a JoJo meme in here. Oh my god, Etika, please look at the Etika one. Where's the Etika one? Uh, oh my god. Wait, By Justin. One? Yeah. Where at? Oh. I'm so sorry, I forgot this some bitch making Listen to it. This is a funny one. Oh, I'm so sorry, this some... Oh my god. Edward. <laughs> But yeah, they said that it's grounded in realistic modern combat, um, in a complex world that mirrors our own. So it's gonna be based on real shit. And incredibly gr- raw, gritty, proactive narrative that brings um, unrivaled intensity and shines a light on the changing nature of modern war. There's this one where it's just like you drop this and it's Mario holding the clown's license. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But basically, during the during the whole thing, there's um, uh, at least what I've heard from videos and stuff like that of people that went. It's gonna be very intense. Like there's gonna apparently there's a room that you go into that's filled with terrorists getting into like terrorists strapped with bomb vests that are getting into civilians' clothing. Uh, you just shit like, like that. Down. Well, I I don't know. That's just. <laughs> Did yeah. you see their and like string another... of tweets? Hold on. Did you like like because you just mentioned like the terrorist thing? I think you do probably mow them down. And here's why I say um, that because they tweeted out that a uh, saying if you thought no Russian was bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. This game's on like a whole new level. Everybody was like, mm. oh no. <laughs> the whole thing with um with Dean's article is about how it can't decide whether war is bad or badass. Which, the whole point on why they're making this is to show that it's not badass. And he has a problem with the new game because it's about how civilians are actually being killed. Yeah. And shit like that. And, like, there's apparently another scene where um, you have to choose whether or not to kill a a mother that's putting on a bomb vest about to run into your teammate. Let's use a clown. (laughs) Like, it's like decisions like that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I... I mean... Clown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm excited for it. I'm... Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm not excited to see people... Civilians I'm ready get to see killed. that mom get shot up. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... You know, I just don't understand why... Why he had to make this article... And everyone is definitely ooh. giving him shit about it. Ooh, ooh, there's another tweet I just found. <laughs> Apparently, this isn't the only thing that he said about the game, so I'm going to link it to you. <laughs> so, I, I guess he tweeted, Call of Duty Modern Warfare gets a horrific reboot on October 25th with crossplay support. Mm-hmm. A it's horrific reboot. Cross-play. And, like, the first... No, a horrific reboot. I already knew it was crossplay, but... Like, mm. the first reply is, like, this is why we can't have nice things, and it's just, like, a tombstone and cuphead about to smash the player. <laughs> this is just one of like a girl with a clown uh, wig on um gee we need to censor this oh my god hold on wait is there an article wait this is a different article it's a different article on a different website what the fuck no it's on the same website oh what so you wrote his other article on. oh venturebeat.com is not <laughs> same website it's related to vice though Makes sense. They follow the same layout. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare gets a horrific reboot on October 25th. Uh, somewhat confusingly, is... the next Call of Duty will be called Modern Warfare, but this new entry, which comes out on October 25th, will not be a continuation of the story that Infinity Ward has been telling uh, up through 2011's MW3. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be on the you. It's gonna be on the Battle.net launcher. It is. Ooh, God! I have to re-download the Battle.net launcher. <laughs> I know. I actually probably still have it, but dude, that's a clown move. <laughs> it, Infinity War describes itself, or itself describes Get the single-player campaign as edgy, culturally relevant, and thought-provoking. 
I'm just gonna get it on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, same. That's all I'm gonna get on. Get Other scenario, scenarios include uh, a terrorist bombing in London and the perspective of a young boy suffering through the death of his family as a Russian soldier swipe, uh, wipe out his village. His oh. dark and gritty marks a tonal shift in uh, what we usually get from Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is like Indiana Jones meets Schindler's List. <laughs> I just saw that. Well, I mean, like, this is... He says that he was a fan since 2003. The very first Call of Duty. That's what this shit was made about. He looks this like he's 64. Like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he looks like he's just gotten too old for these games. He's gotten a taste mm -hmm. of that California life, and he's like... Guns, you know, you know what I mean, though? Yeah, no, I get you. You know mean. what I mean? It's dumb. Considering that's what the games used to be. Why Infinity Ward chose a mature path of, uh, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare after the zany Black Ops 4. Because Black Ops 4 was a cash grab. Mm -hmm. Black Ops 4 was like, oh, you didn't like BO3, but you like BO2. Well, we want to make something that's a sequel to BO2, but before BO3. So we're going to mm -hmm. slap it in this time period, make it look a little better, but still pretty much the same as BO3. And we're going to add, yeah, like add a Fortnite mode. <laughs> and that part's going to be free, though. The rest of the game mm. you have to pay for, which of course nobody's gonna buy it then, because all these little twelve-year-olds only want the Fortnite mode. <sighs> did hmm. did Bo4 have a Nuketown map? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it did, but it was like a winter version of it. Bo4 is the only uh, Call of Duty that I haven't played. Yeah, me too. I don't own a lot of the Call of Duties, but like. I've played at least I've, all of them. I just haven't played BO4. I don't care enough about BO4. <laughs> I don't care either. I've what seen, you said I've seen and gameplay and I'm like, it looks like BO3 without boosting. <laughs> what Dean said in one of his like replies was objecting to a game's content should not be all or nothing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, read that out again? Sorry. Just objecting to... <laughs> I was I was I was chuckling at his name. Damn. Objecting to a game's content should not be all or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just <laughs> wanted to redo that. Yeah, I mean, he just sounds like a big retard. <laughs> uh, gaming. I'm just reading off his Twitter now. This is gonna be the episode where we. I'm literally just gonna title the episode Dean. <laughs> Dean to cut. <laughs> Takahashi. The Deanster. The de <laughs> Somebody ring the Deanster. Uh, gaming was pretty much a, a no-show at Apple's WWDC keynotes, except for controllers for Apple TV and Minecraft Earth and AR. But they say it will come later this week. Dude, it's, oh, a, I it's, saw, a, you saw it's an Apple keynote, dude. They're showing off phones and their new Mac that looks like a cheese grater. <laughs> I mean, what did you... What did you expect? The cheese grater looks kind of cool, though. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, 6016 by 3384 monitor, 32-inch, and it, so it's 6K, basically. Yeah. That's a bra. Wait. Yeah? This guy responded... D skull. Wait, is this a whole another ass like article that this man has made? Oh wait, no, never mind. It's the same. <laughs> I thought he made a whole ass. Did this one. moron, right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy named D skull responded saying, "I most respectfully do, uh, disagree, D. World War Two was te um, thematically about cons. These are big words. God, Consequent this, this <laughs> old fuck." Tweets so much. Good lord. He just tweets so much. I very much appreciate the effort of uh, the Call of Duty fans are putting into their insults over this story. <laughs> I know. I respect it. Read all the comments. Let us enjoy this, and it's just Tony Stark flipping them off with the Infinity Gauntlet on. Damn. Oh, so Dean is like, Dean wants an opt out. He he wishes for an opt out. 
He wants an opt-out option for like what they did for No Rush. So the entire campaign. He's a moron. Dude, just <laughs> just play it on kitty mode then, pussy. I'll put on paintball mode. <laughs> yeah, put on paintball mode, advanced warfare, head ass. <laughs> <laughs> Call Duty Modern Warfare returns to, a, to tread a moral minefield. Oh my god, the Guardian. Ah, yes, the uh -oh. king of news <laughs> articles. Ret <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, this man. People, I love this man. A lot, a lot of people are mad about what I said about Call of Duty, but my analytics... My analytics tell me that a lot of people actually read my story. Yeah, they read it because you're retarded and they wanted to see the special <laughs> ed happen before their eyes. This guy named Pran responded to the article and says, This guy's chatting utter rubbish. God forbid a video game depicted true horrors of war instead of glorifying it. He responds as anti-war messages are fine. <laughs> Depicting the horrors of war is good. But every, everybody has a fine line where it's no longer fun and entertaining. No, where it's no longer fun and entertainment. Then you mix that with the joy of multiplayer. So, and he said, you mentioned that everyone has a fine line. Why should this game and its community conform to your line? Perhaps you should suggest an opt-out up for extreme content. Art should never be censored. I love this, man. <laughs> okay, so this one guy tweeted... Uh, Call of Duty, Modern War uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare uh, makes MW2's No Russian look like a Pixar film. Mm -hmm. And he said, "I'm deadly serious." When I saw that, I was shocked by the level of realistic violence. We'll be surprised if the game gets rated M instead of AO. What is AO? Like adult only? Yeah. Um, okay, so you basically can't buy it in like certain. Uh, countries. you bitch. Southeast Asia, New Zealand. I could buy it. <laughs> I mean. I can buy it in like less than a year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just like I'm. I'm ex. I'm excited that it's gonna be very horrific. Yeah. Cause that's what I wanted. I don't want any of this jumping around, goo goo gaga, baby looking. Dean this retweeted shit. that tweet actually. That's how I found it. Tweet what? He retweeted the tweet that I just read off, the Pixar film one. Oh. Oh, yo, I could pre-order this shit? Bet. I'm about to pre-order the fuck out of this. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My mom told me the other day that I'm not able to see rated R movies, and I was like, why would you do this to me? <laughs> like, I didn't want to know that, and I just know I'm getting old. Damn, it really be like that sometimes. Speaking of movies and Pixar films, uh, have you seen anything about Onward? Onward? What's... They announced a new film under Pixar, which is probably come out in, like, November, because that's... Pixar movies usually come out in, like, June and November. Uh, mm -hmm. And they just announced it, like, weeks before Toy Story 4 comes out. Uh, mm. So, it's called Onward. It has Tom Holland and Chris Pratt in it. It's about, like, these elf dudes that are blue. I don't know. It It's confusing. There's, like, unicorns in this universe. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what they're, they're eating out of the trash can. I don't know. It's weird. There's like a whole trailer on it. I don't know. Like the poster reminds me of Coco's poster. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that meme where it's like Pixar? <sighs> they like yeah. right under that it says N word. <laughs> Have you seen that one? Yes. It the logo was based off of Onward, so I guess like Onward's been like a hinted thing for a while now <laughs> I just didn't know that cuz I'm dumb <laughs> yeah yeah bro I like how I like how um Call of Duty tweeted out saying when it's all on on the on the when it's all on the line you will have to take you will, oh god I just had a stroke when <laughs> They didn't tweet that, no. When it's all on the line, will you have what it to make the suit? Yeah. Could it be a straw? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Onward just kind of looks like boring. Mm. 
I Probably know. is. Like, Toy Story 4 looks like it'll be okay. Onward just looks kind of dumb. Oh, uh, did you see all this shit with how Woody is now openly biased? Oh my gosh. I haven't I looked into it, but I saw that. that. I heard something like that article was not even real. Like, it was just like these idiots saying that. I know. But it, like, I hate like, what would even be the point? Is he gonna, like, start trying to cop a Buzz Lightyear? Like... Yeah. It gives a whole new meaning to you got a friend. Oh. In me? Yeah. It's cuffing season, dog. Cop? You mean copping season? Shut up. You shut up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... F I'm gonna finna cop the pre-order, dude. Why? Because I, I'm, this is like the only game that I'm ever gonna pre-order and ever actually want to get on. Yeah, like, the Woody being openly bisexual thing was a hoax. Oh damn, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was really hoping to yeah. fuck <laughs> shit out of. Yeah, I'm really sad that uh, Woody isn't on my radar. Very upset. <laughs> Definitely gonna give Toy Story 4 a bad rating now. Now that I know that I can't be all up in Woody's walls, yeah. <laughs> I wanna take Woody's battery pack out and... I genuinely hate that you just said that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, somebody had an argument with Dean in the replies to his original tweet. <laughs> I kept scrolling, like the one where it's like, gets a horrific reboot. I kept Ooh. scrolling and someone got into an argument with him. Hey, you want something pretty cool? You want something pretty cool? What? Um... There's a breaking report on the new COD Modern Warfare stuff. It's gonna be free Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare Spec Ops. No Battle Royale, and Campaign DLC. Yeah, I heard this is going to be free DLC. Yeah, but it's going to be Campaign DLC, and not like this dumb shit. Multiplayer. Well, there's probably still going to be player DLC, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> Call of Duty? The Dean. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. Um, we were just... <clears throat> um, it's time for our sponsor, uh, Honey. No, I'm Dude, I fucking wish. Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're doing... Oh my god, I love Infinity War. Oh my god, I'm gonna come. Wait, what? <laughs> they're doing the same things that they did with, um, Modern Warfare 3. What are they doing? Where they're updating it every month instead of like doing like a set plan of DLC they're gonna do it like random it's just like every month there's a new DLC it's just gonna be new shit that you're not gonna know about yeah <laughs> like they're not gonna tell you in advance it's gonna be fucking epic it's pretty sick <laughs> darn that is pretty sick dude Oh, and also, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is maybe coming, too. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> that would be pretty epic as well. Okay, okay. Call of Duty Beta coming out August 2019. Alright. <laughs> oh. What else is supposed to be announced? I don't know. Hold on. Let's just search up E3. Well, Shit, I, I forgot how to spell E3. <laughs> uh huh. What? Are you fucking making fun of me? <sighs> yeah, dude. Does the E and E3 just mean electronics? No. What does E3 stand for? Oh my, Super Mario 3D World Deluxe is coming out. 
the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Wait, what's coming out? Um, Super Mario 3D World Deluxe. Is that the one that was on the Wii U? It was on like everything. No, it was the Wii U one, I thought. No, because it also came out on uh, 3D. That was Land. Oh. Uh, my No, Deluxe is a new one that's coming out during E3. Yeah, I mean like, well like Land is the better one. Uh oh. <laughs> World is the crappy cat suit one. Oh. Well, now you're getting a deluxe of it. Unless they like bundle it with 3D land, I'm not getting it. Hmm. If they don't bundle it with land, there's no point. Like, legitimately no point. Like, why would I get that? Yeah. Why would I buy that? I mean, I already I already have World on my Wii U. Like, it, it sucks. I don't like the game. But if they put Land on here, then... Oh, yeah, I would I would definitely get it. I love Super Mario 3D Land. That's all I did whenever I was being forced to walk through a Lowe's with my parents. <laughs> it was on my 3DS playing Land. Hmm. Yeah, um, Halo, Gears of War, and Cyberpunk... 2077. Ooh, Cyberpunk. Maybe coming out. That's a good uh, looking game, dog. Have you seen the trailer from like 2012? It looks better than most games that have come out recently. I have not. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Sorry, I'm not a nerd like you. No, like my friend showed it to me. I didn't look it up. Oh shit, you three's only in eight days. <laughs> yeah, I didn't dude. know that. I'm excited for Death Stranding. Hmm. How to ruin everyone's day. Yo, Bing turns 10 years old today. Everybody's just like, I don't give a shit because I never used it. I use it though. <laughs> if you have a good ad block, then... Not even a good... If you just have an ad block, then it it works. Wait, Marvel's Avengers? What? Tune into Square Enix. Is that Enix. that Square Enix? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? What is this? I don't like, this based game? Off of, like Infinity War or something. That's dumb. That's stupid. That's dumb. What? That's what dumb it? and gay. That's stupid. What is it? Oh. Um, Marvel Avengers. It's oh, no. dumb and stupid. Square Enix. Shoot. They just like fell over in here and I don't know what it was. It's kinda spooky. Uh um, there's like literally no information on it. It might not even yeah. be like Infinity War related, and it'll probably just be like, watch Iron Man and Captain America fight people. Uh, la, 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 la. With like other comic characters that they haven't put in the MCU yet. Oh no. Like Phoenix. <laughs> New Phoenix yeah. movie coming out. Like Wolverine and a bunch of stuff like that. It would be like Marvel superheroes. Bet. Lego Lego superheroes, that's what I meant to say. Have you ever played those, the Lego ones? Lego what? Lego Marvel superheroes. No, I only play Lego Star Wars. That's respectable. It would lag the Wii U. Mmm. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds, it would lag the Wii U. I would also play Lego Batman. Oh yeah, I, I also played that. I have them all on Steam. <clears throat> so. Sorry, the soup is hot. <laughs> Your ice cream soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just melted it. Bro. Just get a fridge. I'm drinking flavored milk. <laughs> Bro, I need some flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for anybody who's not uh who's not aware, we haven't spoken to each other in almost a year. Damn if not man. over a year. Mm -hmm. So I I've gone through my whole junior year no. and you've gone through your whole senior year, like without either of us talking to each other. It has been a whole year. 
because the last time we talked was 2018, um, January. It was? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's been a year and a half then. <laughs> Shit, dog. Yeah. Gotta finesse another year and a half. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yeah, hey, I'll see you in 2020. Yeah. In, like, October. <laughs> Class of 2020. We'll just, like, both be in college at that point. Yeah. Oh, you want to know what's really dumb? It's really stupid and dumb. Yeah, dude. How people soon are, that were born in, like, 2005, 2006 are going to be in high school. That's really dumb and gay. Yeah, my sister was born in 2004, and she's going to be a freshman. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be a senior. I forgot you had a sister. Yeah. It's Holly, right? Yeah. She's got her braces off after two years. Yeah, unless he yikes. <laughs> yeah, now she wears a retainer, and it's really funny. <laughs> I'm make fun of the disabled kid. Yeah. I mean, what else? <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Yeah. Who would it? <sighs> yeah. This is definitely not it. Shell V power. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. What? Please say that again. <laughs> Shell V. Shell V power. What does that mean? So I um, have an extension on Chrome <laughs> that changes the background of <laughs> like the the homepage for Google, <laughs> and yeah. like it'll refresh the image like to like a new image every single time you like refresh the page or like search something. Mm -hmm. And right now it's just like a gas station, and off to the right it's kind of cut off, but there's just like SWAT team members. <laughs> That's what it looks like, unless they're just like really ominous biker dudes with like armor on. <laughs> Damn, I hate it when my when my biker friends wear armor out to get gas. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> when you know when you're pulling up to the <laughs> the Kroger gas station wearing your, you know. Tactical SEAL Team 6 gear. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> just trying to get some diesel. Definitely not epic. You know, diesel? Just, what the you... <laughs> fuck? Kind of dumb and stupid. When you're trying to fill up your Ford F-150. Okay, listen, you're going to have to stop there, bro. With nuclear waste. You went, too, you went too far. Trying to fill up your Ford I F-150 have a Ford with the F-150 big truck nerd. bed. The it's extended not truck big. bed. It's only six by four. That was like a four by four, I thought. No, mine's different. Mine's two thousand five. Oh, you have a the long thing. You're overcompensating. Yeah, that's why I have a big truck, and it's lifted, <laughs> and it's got big big boy tires on it. How do you feel that you can now publicly talk about on the podcast the size of your penis, and it won't be illegal? <laughs> it would definitely anymore. be illegal to the point that. <laughs> Like, you're an adult talking to a minor, and you're going to start talking about your private parts, about it. Yes, that is what is illegal. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had any friends turn 18 yet, except for you, so, like, this is new. I'm not your friend. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, like, a few friends, actually. But. Listen, dog. <laughs> We're going to have to put an end to that. Have you seen the Alex Jones Joe Rogan podcast like from a few months ago? Yeah. The they took a vote in the goddamn mm. fucking Senate. <laughs> yes, I have. I love that clip. That's my favorite clip. When they're talking about when Eddie Bravo is like jokingly being like, "Yo, that ain't real," about like the uh, like abortion clip from the Virginia governor. Yeah. And Alex Jones is just like, "I took a fucking vote." And then <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I beat your goddamn ass. Let, I hope that he would let me sit on his face. <laughs> it's not <laughs> legal anymore, I can say that. I just wanna sit on Alex Jones' face, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Man, that definitely made me chuckle. <laughs> that was definitely a chuckling moment. Mm -hmm. mm. Nobody understands the struggle of heat until you live in Georgia during the summertime with no AC. I know, right. Dude, I didn't have AC in the entirety of my upstairs, and I didn't go to sleep that night till 5 a.m. Yeah, there's RACs not working. It just blows out hot air, so...
Hmm. We, uh, that was definitely not epic. I just have like a fan right next to Dude, me. Dude, my whole emo. What? Sorry. I just have a fan right next to me. Dude. Sorry, I am playing the craft. I, I know. <laughs> it's respectable. Can you hear my clicking? A little bit. I'm sorry about that, Chief. No, I, I want to hear it more, but keep doing it. Okay, you're gonna have to stop there. Ah! This is slightly illegal. <laughs> oh wait, no, you're 17. Not really. It's yeah, not. Not re yeah, I was about to say like not really. We we just say we're, that we've been dating before. <laughs> not legal age is 16, dog. We could just say that we've been dating, but we haven't spoken in a year and a half because I've been uh on duty. Bipolar. Yeah. Just say that I've been serving the elves in combat. The LGBT community. Yeah, the elves. <laughs> I've been serving the LGBT community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been doing. Dude, the funniest thing to say right now, since it is Pride Month, is like, why do we need an entire month? Like, do you like exclude gays from your conversations the rest of the year? Yeah. Today, this this month is the only month I talk to homosexuals. <laughs> this is why this is why I asked you to call me. Hold on, wait. You oh, gay? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> dude, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I, I, dude, I really want to find this video, but I, there was this video a long ass time ago that I watched that was of um yeah a guy yeah <laughs> a guy in his um the guy in his like family like it wasn't actually his family it was him but as a mom and a dad and yeah. him as a kid and he was sitting there at his uh at the table and his parents were like talking to him at like asking him whether he was gay and they kept like that's a like, normal now, conversation. No, yeah, because it was like, now we've been like seeing you lately. Like you kind of look like you've been turning gay, son. It was like, <laughs> and then he just had his like fork and knife in both of his hands. And he's like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Sma like slamming his hands into the table. Then he whips out his dick, slaps it on the table. Dad, get to work. And then that's how I'm not the gay one. You're the gay one. <laughs> Prove you won't suck my dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> Prove you will suck my dick right the now. Dad, no, it's actually the dad. The dad whips out his dick. Prove you won't suck it. Prove it! <laughs> the kid's like... <sighs> he starts sweating. Prove you will suck it. <laughs> <laughs> he starts sweating. He's just like... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever you say, dad. <laughs> How'd the actual video go, though? What? How'd the actual video go? So he's slamming down his... It was like... Yeah, it was, I don't, I don't know why, it was just so funny of him, like, having his, uh, like, fork and knife and, like, his opposite hands just slamming on the table. It's like, I am not gay! And his teeth closed and saying like that. Oh, I'm it was just not. really funny. Like, his teeth were closing the entire time. I'm not! I'm not gay! I'm, I'm not, not gay. gay! I'm not gay! And it was mm. just, it was so funny. God. <laughs> this was a long time ago, though, and I can't remember what it was. I used to watch those videos that were, like, like the videos are okay. the like abusive parents being like, "You're gay, get out of my home." And it's just like, okay. And then like yeah. I would watch those, and there was one where it was like, "What if the, what if it was flipped? Like, what if being gay was the norm and being straight was the, like, dad, you're um, gay." <laughs> so it's like you have to come out as being straight, but by default everyone's just assumed to be gay. So like everybody in the world is like gay I guess and like they're partnering up with same sex people and like this these two people are straight it's a girl and a boy obviously and so like they're trying to get together and everybody's like whoa and like it's that's weird and then like in my head I was just thinking the whole time how are these children born <laughs> <laughs> are people donating whoa hold then, your horses hetero like, is everybody donating and then everybody's getting it injected Yes. It's the default. That's what like, has to you happen. You know how, like, gay couples will either adopt or they'll do, like, the 
thing where like a guy donates. They steal a, sperm, a baby. Yeah. A guy donates the sperm and then like the doctor injects it into the woman's egg, or they just steal the baby. <laughs> yeah, that's another so, option. But like, you know what I'm talking about? Like doing that. Well, adoption wouldn't really be possible. Well, I would not actually, know what that is. There's not really any straight people having babies, and so, like, you would have to do the yeah, injection. Yeah, kill you, dog. Wouldn't that like slow down the population and all that? And like, I don't know. Yes, it would greatly deplete the population and the amount of oxygen. Actually, wait, no, the opposite. There'd be a lot of the oxygen. From what I've heard is that apparently you can inject, uh, like a woman can inject her own bone marrow into her uh, egg and it'll create a baby. <sighs> I don't think that's how that works, Chief. I don't know. That's what I've been told and that's what I've like looked up and it said it is like a thing. Like, it's not recommended, but, like, you can do it. So I was like, all right. <laughs> so men... Or highly unrecommended. <laughs> I mean, Yikes. typically women could wipe out all men. And that would solve the world's population problem. And then, like, they definitely they start, would not. The, they start going on to, like, bone marrow stuff. And most of those pregnancies wouldn't happen. So the world population would just kind of funnel into, like, a smaller number. And it would all be women. Yeah, fuck guys. Yeah. Because I want to fuck a guy. <laughs> wait, no. I didn't say that. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Yo, it's Pride Month, everybody. We're, <laughs> we're brought to you no, by I'm the LGBT not I'm not community. Not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> we're brought to you by the LGBT community. I'm not gay, so th I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is brought to you by specifically Steven. Who is part of the LGBT? The community. homosexual Steven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Dude, I hate talking. it when I'm when I turn gay for a solid minute. Excuse me. Sorry, what? Is that just your excuse for having sex with your homies? It's my excuse for having straight sex. Oh. <laughs> 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 you're having sex and you're not into it, just be like, sorry, I'm going through my gay phase. <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of homosexual so I'm right like, now. I'm just like kind of not into you right now, just give me like a couple minutes and then I'll be into you. Yeah, definitely. That's how that works. Sorry, I'm just not gay. <laughs> Alright, not straight, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yo, that moment when you oh, bisexual? Yeah, when you buy the sexual? I bisexualities. Yeah, dude, I'm just like Woody. <laughs> <sighs> God, who oh, would even oh, write oh, something? Oh. That's like a BuzzFeed thing that they would write. The <laughs> the whole like, yo, know, Woody's get like bisexual, but it's like, what's the point? I mean, you're never There's gonna see. There's literally no point. It's there gonna be like, <laughs> is it gonna be Woody pegging the shit out of like fucking? I don't know. I mean, it's like when Buzz Lightyear. J.K. Rowling tweeted out, or like sent out like a message saying like, "Yo, uh, Dumbledore's gay now," and it's like, "Okay, what is like, that? your book I... series is over." And then they did Fantastic Beast, and they retconned uh, Dumbledore being gay into it. It's like, what yeah, was I the point? You know what I'm talking about? You no, know, picking up what I'm putting down, dog. Yeah, J.K. Rowling was like, Dumbledore's gay dog. And so, like... Dumbledore likes gay dogs. <laughs> I think it's like Grindelwald or whatever his name is. I think they're like subtly hinting that that used to be Gan... Uh, not Gandalf. Dumbledore's... Uh, <laughs> Gandalf? I've been trying oh not my to say Gandalf God. this whole time. Good, I have Lord of the good Rings Lord. I have Lord of the Rings fans as friends. Uh, I think they're trying I to on it to be like Dumbledore's ex-boyfriend is Grindelwald or whatever. Oh. And they had like a falling out, and that's why they don't like each other, and that's why they were fighting. Sounds unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense. I don't... I... I don't like it. <laughs> I really Dude, don't. I fucking hate gay people. Dude, I... I despise homosexuals. <laughs> So I don't give a shit if you're homo, like you can be homosexual all you want, just don't be fucking gay, bro, that's too far. Did you see that they're adding Cuphead to the 
like center console screens for Teslas. They are. Yeah, you can play Cuphead in a Tesla now. While you're driving. Uh, I think the passenger can play. But I mean, that would be. Then really wait, how are they gonna? Yeah, how are they gonna differentiate between who's driving and who's not? By who? By whether or not you crash the car. <laughs> That's a little bit too late, Chief. I'm assuming maybe you could put it in like self-driving mode, and then, and then play. just sit there play Cuphead. I mean, there's no way you could do that. You're in the state driving to work. There's no way you'd be able to do that in the state of Georgia because the hands-free law that was passed last year. No, it's still hands-free. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. not touching your phone. You're touching your. You just say, yeah. I was trying to find my GPS. I'm. <laughs> You have to use the clutch to play. <laughs> no, like, uh... <laughs> I, it, I guess you'd use, like, a controller or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just whip out a fucking Xbox controller. Plug it into the car. Well, I'm about to cuphead. I'm about to cuphead your ass. Honestly. I'm about to cup... I'm about to T-bone this driver over here. Hold on. I'm about to cup your balls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome to the gay hour. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever you say, homo. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, speaking of hands-free, I know who lobbied for that bill. What? Uh, the, the people who lobbied in the state uh, legislation. For yeah, that, who was it? Free law. It was Abby's Angels Foundation. Oh. You ever heard of them? Uh, kinda. They're the ones that, like, their daughter died in a car accident. So, like, now they have, like, a found Yeah. Where, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, my old elementary school. Um. I actually was, I actually still went there when that happened. Like, she was a fourth grader, I was a fifth grader, and, like, after Christmas break, she was dead. Damn. That's oh. unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So they created, like, a whole foundation. And, uh, they lobbied for that bill. Hmm. Hmm. Only took him six years. Was she on the phone, like, while driving or some shit? No, they were going through an intersection and some teen driver, like, came in and smashed into them. Oh, And then after I see. that, like, a bit of time later, I think, like, that same teen crashed into someone else and killed them. So that's two deaths on his hand. He had, like, his Damn. girlfriend in the car or something. I think he, like, killed his girlfriend. I don't remember the whole details. Fuck, that's kind of, that's unfortunate. That's low-key unfortunate. Low-key. Yeah, I mean, high-key, it's kind of lit, but... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. But, like, on the low, though, dude, it's kind of unfortunate. Kind of hot. Whoa. Hold on, wait, no. Dude. Forget I said that, forget I said that, forget I said that, forget I said that, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. I'm not gay, I'm, gonna I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. Dude, good luck trying to run for office, faggot. Yeah, that that sense alone <laughs> would bar you from any public office. Dude, nobody's going to be able to run for office. Nobody is. Like, when we're old enough to actually run. Like, nobody's going to be able to do it. There's no just chance. so much stuff on the internet that could be used against us. Dude, I could literally, like have consensual sex with a woman and then be like hold on I'm gay and then they're gonna hold that against me literally the only people that <laughs> has nothing to do with anything <laughs> but they'll still hold it against me the only people that'll end up getting into office are those like kids that were sheltered from the internet their entire life so they just literally don't have a digital footprint at all yeah the children you know like those literal two-year-olds it's either gonna be like kids that were too poor to have internet when they were younger or people like kids that just never grew up with the internet and would rather go mudding. And Dude, that's definitely me. <laughs> and just don't know how it works, so they literally have like nothing on the internet. Or it's people who like genuinely know how to like they they pay off every, to like fucking. Or they're just smart and didn't post any dumb crap. Yeah, that's a real struggle. I definitely struggle with that. That's definitely a brown moment. There's definitely a lot of stuff on the internet that is kind of dumb that I've said. Same. 
Us both. Us both together in the same fucking videos and shit. And what I said right then, that was homo sapien. God, you're really just on the gay streak the past ten minutes. I'm not gay, bro. <laughs> Not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Are those American flag shorts shorts or swim trunks? They're pants. <laughs> They're pants? They're pants. Alright, Uncle Sam. <laughs> okay, Uncle Sam would What do you have? have America flag Shut pants. up, bro, dude. Like, just <laughs> eat my butthole, bro. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm, I'm not just gay. trying to prove how gay you are right now. I'm not gay, bro. Do you have a full photo on Instagram of you wearing those pants? I think maybe, probably not, I just but think, maybe. I just need, like a closer look at the pants. Maybe I need the pants. Can you get the pants? Okay, you definitely like butthole in your butt. Dude, I just want to see your pee. <laughs> <sighs> Nice. Definitely gay, definitely gay, definitely gay. Okay, he's gay. 100%, 100%, 100%. Sorry, I'm playing the craft. <laughs> the whole craft. These homosexuals in my craft game. Exactly. In my craft... craft survival games. Exactly. Oh my Is god. Is MCSG still a thing? Uh, MC Gamer? Yeah, they, MCSG. They shut down like three years ago. <laughs> That's tough, bro. That's what we, that's what we found each other on, bro. No, we didn't. We found each other on Justin's old server. No, no, you were on there asking for people that wanted to play on Skype. <laughs> yeah, but we also, this. but like the way that we met was on Justin's yeah, server. Yeah, but we did. We also played we our game. Staff, we were staff members. We were like, we live in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we no, we met before that. No, we didn't. We definitely did. No, we didn't. We were... I remember this like it was fucking yesterday. Here's the motherfucking tea. Okay? Here. It's the motherfucking tea. I really didn't like that that genuinely sounded like a... <laughs> so smacking my phone screen. No, I mean like your voice, not Here? you clapping your hands. Here. It's the please don't, please don't. I don't like that at all. <laughs> it makes me very uncomfort. <laughs> um, but yeah, we we definitely met on MCSG. Like in the little hub thing in the middle. You remember that shit? You remember that like from the little hub thing that you went and clicked on a sign to join a fucking yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. That shit you were asking around, you were like, hey, anyone have like Skype? You're like, bet. Dog. Back when I was named Hill the Bass Man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I used to just go to like random servers and be like, "Anybody got a Skype?" And you're I the know. you're the only person to still have contact with me from those days. You and like Here's one British guy who like literally never talks to me. He just kind of follows me on Instagram. Oh, because I was oh, I was a dumb little idiot, and I gave you my IP. <laughs> You take my IP four. Eat my butt. Eat my butt. Eat my butthole. Eat my whole butthole. Whole <laughs> ass. Whole ass. Take my IP four address. Oh, he ate my butthole. <laughs> All right, we're Damn. gonna end the podcast now. <laughs> it's getting a little too <laughs> gay. And on that note, was it a man? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna refrain from answering that question. All right, well, we finna end it. Any Try closing statements? Up. Thanks to our sponsor, Homosexuality, for turning this episode. Yeah. Um, if you want to check it out, you know, link in the description. Uh, pray the gay away. <laughs> MikePence.com. <laughs> um, yeah. Sponsored yeah. by the homies. <laughs> the, the whole homes. homes. Yeah. dog yep. are you gonna say anything is that what, is that it <laughs> uh yeah that's it you're gonna end it like are you gonna it, outro this bitch <laughs> no
Uh, 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 totally working. Uh, wah, I'm a big baby. Wah. Yo, eat my ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what you are. A big baby. <laughs> Beach rules. No glass pets. <laughs> <laughs> no glass dildos. Yeah. Those aren't allowed here. <laughs> Well, I need to get ice cream. You don't have any ice cream. I do. Where? I was just pulling your penis. I'll be right back. Okay. It's at Kroger, but I'll be right back. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's down in my fridge. Oh, go get it then, dog. It's in my pantry. Whoa. <laughs>